This conference will now be recorded. All right, let's quickly move to the phase three, the part three of our ointment based in pills. We initially started with different semi-solids, then in ointments, don't forget they have a plastic flow property. Then we went on to discuss classification. Don't forget the classification, which is according to type of ointment basis. That's the most important one. Then our advantages and limitations. Don't forget those further with regards to formulation of ointments. Don't forget the skin pH to be around 5.5. Then the type of semi-solid basis. Don't forget them along with their example. You can go through this too in your earlier existing videos what we have shared on those. Compounding of ointments. So there are incorporation method, fusion method, dilution and ointments prepared by chemical reaction. Don't forget example of levigating agent. Talking about paste is from where we are supposed to start today. So paste basically have higher percentage of your insoluble solids. Solid content wise it's more. They are more viscous than ointments. Yes, viscosity is other hota. They have different types of bases. So we'll talk about those bases and we'll also talk about the difference between your ointment and paste. So with regards to different bases which are used in preparation of your paste, they include your hydrocarbon base, my classification or difference can be bad karunga. Sorry, difference of ointment and paste. When it comes to difference, uh, I'll talk about that later. With regards to hydrocarbon bases, they are used in preparation of compound zinc paste and salicylic acid paste. It's used in preparation of hydrocarbon bases are used in preparation of your compound zinc paste and salicylic acid paste. Your water miscible base are used in preparation of resorcinol and sulfur paste. While your water soluble bases are used in preparation of neomycel sulfate paste. Don't forget examples of this bases and which phase they are used in preparation of. In toothpaste, your thickening agents like sodium CMC, methyl cellulose, and carbomer can be used. With regards to the difference of both of them, like in ointments, your semi-solid solution or dispersion are there, but with regards to your paste, you might have your semi-solid suspension with high solid content. What is most important for us is with regards to ointment, it has a plastic flow with yield value. While your paste have plastic or pseudoplastic flow. So don't forget the flow type. Most important is the example. So sulfur ointment is an example of ointment. Your Una's paste is an example of paste. So don't forget these all examples. That's more important from entrance point of view. Sulfur ointment for ointments, Una's paste is of paste. Plastic or pseudoplastic is the flow of your paste. Method of manufacturing is the same. Only difference is your paste will also have thickening agent. So don't forget paste ke paas thickening agent bhi hoga. So your thickening agents include example like sodium CMC, methyl cellulose and carbomer. Going ahead with regards to gels and jellies. Your gels and jellies are easy. Nothing much to be remembered. These are transparent to opaque semi-solid preparations. Yes, since it is a gel, there will be a three-dimensional colloidal structure. 3D structure jo gels mein banta hai. That three dimensional 3D structure will be a part over here. Again, you can entrap the drug and also immobilize it in between your solid and liquid. So, that's one more thing possible in your gels. Your gels are more rigid than jellies. And yes, when you apply it on skin, they become thin and they can also form a film. So, you might remember your gels and jellies which are used in ECG, electrocardiograph. So, they apply those jellies before, you know, kind of placing electrodes in. So in jellies you have different types. You have medicated jellies. Don't forget the example. Chapter may example Zada important. Hai. Medicated jellies include example of ephedrine sulfate. Lubricating jelly is the one which is used for lubrication. Miscellaneous jellies include your patch testing. So when it comes to your transdermal patches, your transdermal patches also include gel in some different formulations. Different types of formulations included under this and your electrocardiography. So in case of your electrocardiography, this is our, your ECGs which I was talking about where electrodes are being placed on skin. Last one what is important from entrance point of view to the most extent is the type of gel. So your type of gel will vary based on the nature of colloidal phase. There are two types of gels, inorganic gels and organic gels, not important for us. What is important for us is the classification of gel based on solvent. So if the solvent is water, it is called hydrogel. So according to solvent classification of gels is known as hydrogels. Hydrogels is consisting of water plus glycerin plus polyethylene glycol. I repeat hydrogels is consisting of water plus glycerin plus polyethylene glycol. Viral organogels consist of liquid paraffin plus colloidal silica and metallic stearate. Apne solvent 
So according to solvent, hydrogels means water, organogels means which organic water which is like paraffin, zero gels means solid gels with low solvent concentration. So it can be any solvent, but that solvent will be in a lower concentration. हमको सिर्फ टर्म से सॉल्वेंट का नाम पता होना चाहिए हाइड्रोजेल बोल रहा है तो वाटर होगा ऑर्गेनोजेल बोल रहा है तो लिक्विड पैराफिन होगा रिमेम्बर इट दैट वे ओनली दैट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस नथिंग एल्स गोइंग अहेड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट एग्जांपल्स ऑफ जेलिंग एजेंट सो योर डिफरेंट एग्जांपल ऑफ जेलिंग एजेंट्स इंक्लूड्स योर ड्रगाकांत सोडियम एल्जिनेट जेलेटिन एंड कार्बोमर डोंट फॉरगेट दिस फोर एग्जांपल्स इंक्लूड्स ड्रगाकांत सोडियम एल्जिनेट जेलेटिन एंड कार्बोमर दिस फोर एग्जांपल्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट When it comes to tragacan, these are basically your jellies, which are also called besorin paste. Now, the reason to call tragacan jellies as besorin paste is the hydrophilic component of tragacan, which will swell in water, which will lead to that gelling. So, tragacan is basically a gelling agent, which can under a hydrophilic component by hydrophobic component. The hydrophilic component of tragacan is the one which will gel after coming in contact with water. I repeat. ट्रगाकांत का जो हाइड्रोफिलिक कंपोनेंट है वो जब पानी के कांटेक्ट में आएगा इट विल फॉर्म अ जेल इट इज द हाइड्रोफिलिक कंपोनेंट ऑफ ट्रगाकांत दैट जेल्स इन वाटर दिस हाइड्रोफिलिक कंपोनेंट ऑफ ट्रगाकांत दैट जेल्स इन वाटर इज कॉल्ड बेसोरिन हाइड्रोफिलिक कंपोनेंट जो ट्रगाकांत का है जो वाटर के कांटेक्ट में आने के बाद जेल फॉर्म करता है दैट इज बेसोरिन दैट इज द रीजन ट्रगाकांत जेलीज आर आल्सो कॉल्ड बेसोरिन पेस्ट आई होप यू रिमेंबर टिल हियर Last one is the examples again. Your hygroscopic substances. So examples of your hygroscopic substances include your glycerol and polyethylene glycol. In this entire slide, what we need to remember is example of hygroscopic substances, examples of different gelling agents. According to solvent, how do you classify gels? And yes, with regards to the viscoelastic properties, gels are more viscoelastic than jellies. Nothing else required. Going to the Last part with regards to your compounding. So compounding of gels में कुछ नहीं है. आप आपका gelling agent लो. So you take your gelling agent. On the other side, take your drug. Dissolve your drug in a suitable solvent. So you can have your gelling agent which is dissolved in solvent A. You can have your drug which is dissolved in solvent B, and then you can mix solvent A and solvent B. So it totally depends. Not always the case. Sometimes you can dissolve A in solvent. Sometimes you can dissolve your drug also in the same solvent. So drug or gelling agent, both same solvent may be can go. Drug or gelling agent, both in other solvent may be can go. It totally depends with regards to the drug solubility, drug compatibility, and all other properties. No need to follow the same thing always. It will totally vary based on what is the drug solubility, compatibility, and all other parameters. Then you add your different other required things like color, preservative, perfumes, and all. Nothing much to be remembered from this. Going to the last part with regards to poultice. After poultice, we have our paste. So let's look after what is there in poultice. So poultice may say, "Me ko sir, kaolin poultice ka example yaad rakhna hai." Kaolin poultice is an example of poultice. They are thick, pasty. They are semi-solid and they are applied hot to the skin. So they are being applied onto the skin in a hot manner. It will. Not in a hot manner. Basically, mean they will be heated materials when they get applied onto the skin. So they retain heat as well. If it is warm, then it will supply warmth to the inflamed part. So where there is inflammation, you will apply the poultice there. It will give heat at that particular place. So it acts as a counter irritant as well, and it will draw the infected fluid from your boils. So if there are any boils, your poultice are going to draw the fluid from that. At the same time, it can supply warmth over there. It can apply heat over there. Nothing important from entrance point of view over here. But yes, you can remember when it comes to your kaolin poultice BPC. In that particular case, your kaolin poultice BPC consists of 50% kaolin and 40% glycerol. Don't forget this composition: 50% kaolin and 40% of glycerol in your kaolin poultice BPC. This all is hygroscopic, as we are aware. Methyl salicylate is anti-rheumatic. Methyl salicylate is anti-rheumatic. So don't forget the therapeutic application not required as such. Your thymol is bactericide, and your boric acid is antimicrobial. So don't forget all these different examples. It says their excipient properties. Nothing great to be remembered in detail. You can remember your kaolin poultice. Poultice's application here. So the supply heat. And your glycerol is hygroscopic. That's enough.
no need to go in detail next one talking with regards to plasters which is the last part plasters as we are aware you are either solid or semi solid includes your different mechanisms with regards to protection so they provide protection they also provide support you can include different drugs like your salicylic acid menthol and thymol so don't forget that most important from this particular part would be to remember the examples of your bases so your bases like resins polio resins and waxes they also give firmness to the product so remember that with regard to plasters your bases like resins polio resins and waxes give firmness at the same time they are permissible to wear in water and yes their major work is to provide protection and mechanical support last part from this entire chapter of your ointment cream space gels plasters and all is for different factors now we don't need to go in detail with regard to factors anywhere koi bhi hum detail mein theory nahi batane wala so there is no need to go in detail with regards to how they affect and what are the parameters there are different factors which will affect permeability through the skin because when you apply it on skin whatever factors are there which are associated with skin they will have an impact whatever factors are affected with medicament they will have an impact and ab jab aap truck ke sath koi vehicle mix kar rahe ho to vehicle ka bhi kuch impact hoga so i'm talking about all the three parameters a b and c tino affect karenge when it comes to factors associated with skin there would be hydration of thermal layer so your skin agar skin pe moisture zyada hai to that will have an impact based on drugs nature as well it might allow drug it might not allow drug thickness of the horny layer so agar skin ka layer thick hai in that particular case it won't be able to permeate again skin condition if it's a disease patient suffering from psoriasis or some other case then the level of comfort with skin would be different so it will differ whenever skin condition is changing factors associated with medicament factors associated with medicament basically includes your drug what drug ki solubility kya hai if it is soluble in lipophilic solvent it might be able to pass through lipophilic membranes of our skin what is its dissociation constant so ionized hone ke baad kaise dissociate hota hai that's one of the parameter what is particle size wo jo drug hai uska particle size kya hai 30 micron 60 micron first based on the size of particle its permeation will also vary agar wo zyada bada hoga to uska permeation side difficult to but if the api particle size is micronized if it is small in structure it can easily pass through it. again crystal structure what is the structure of the medicament job drug de rahe ho unka structure kya hai whether it is crystalline amorphous was based on that drug ki stability depend kare there is no need to go in detail you just need to remember this names factors associated with vehicle to so, ab jo vehicle use kar rahe ho uska body ke sath contact kitne time tak rehta hai what is its viscosity imparting character viscosity imparting character matlab wo kitna viscous hai is it causing hydration of stratum corneum so wo skin layers ka hydration kar raha hai kya is it able to penetrate your epidermis so penetration of epidermis will also depend upon it and the last one alteration of skin permeability so alteration of skin permeability can be varied by different solvents like dmso so dmso is dimethyl sulfoxide it's basically a penetration enhancer it is basically a penetration enhancer so you need to remember example of all the different penetration enhancers and they in that case what are the different penetration enhancers you should be aware about so you have your dmso you have different other penetration enhancers like oxazolidine diones you also have your penetration enhancer like ethanol so penetration enhancers ke example yaad rakho two three and just remember this factors which are being listed over here that's it that's enough for the entire chapter of ointment creams paste gels and plasters no need to refer any book if you still want to tap some book you can refer cooper and guns which is for dispensing pharmacy you can refer cooper and guns which is for dispensing pharmacy in case of any queries feel free to reach out to us all the best stay home stay safe just solve this questions once from uh yourself if you can find any around ointment cream space gels it hardly possible that you might get a question here or there one more that would be around the same topics what we just discussed thank you so much everyone thank you